Hi everybody, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Come on in. Jumping in here just to share about the new starter kit. And I know that some of us have a starter kit from a while back. There's a lot of similarities and a lot of it will apply to you whenever you got your starter kit. And I'm specifically going to be talking about the premium starter kit that comes with essential oils. So you guys probably um, know, or maybe you don't, that there are different starter kits. So there is a starter kit that comes with Savvy Minerals Makeup. There is a starter kit that comes with Ninja Red. If you haven't heard about that yet, you'll learn. I'll talk about it in a minute because um, a sample comes in this kit and there's a thieves starter kit so however you got started awesome happy you're here and if you got started with the oil kit this is specifically going to go over that hey guys come on in so um it just came out and there's a couple new things about it and so i just wanted to show you it's beautiful i ordered it right away i wanted to see it and um be able to show you guys what's in it and what the differences are so when your kit comes in the mail it's gonna come in a box that looks like this, and it's a different box, it's a new box. They've upgraded it and it's pretty and it just has a little bit of a different look to it. And even more exciting is what's inside the box. So I'm gonna go over that in a minute, but I wanna talk about a couple of other things that come in your box that you definitely wanna keep. So one of them is an essential oils magazine and it's so cute you guys i don't know if you've read through it or if you got one with your kid or not but there is like a bunch of information about gary young there is a bunch of information about really cute ways to use your oils um, in your home and just different different ideas of how to use your oils and different young living products and all kinds of little health tips so the essential oils magazine is great they change these out seasonally so it might be different um I just realized I'm gonna see if I can flip my camera around so that not everything looks backwards. I don't know if I can do that while I'm already on, but in case I can, ooh, I think I can. Okay, I'm gonna switch it. Okay, so I'm still here, but now everything's not gonna be backwards when I when I hold it up, right? Is that like right side up now? You can read it? I hope so. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up. Um, so the magazine is great. Don't throw that away. Keep it out and look through it. Have it out on your coffee table, like when you're relaxing with a cup of tea or coffee or something. Get that out and um, flip through it because it's great. The other thing that I love that comes in your box with your kit is the uh, product guide. So this is still the 2018 product guide and the 2019 product guide, I haven't heard anything about it. They usually come out like later in the year. So don't think you're getting like an old product guide. This is up to date. Um, and the product guide is great because it has all the products that Young Living has. I mean, you can flip through this and see everything, every oil, every supplement, every skincare product. Like it is so fun. I love just sitting down with my product guide and just flipping through it. And of course there's an online version and you can flip through and kind of swipe if you like to kind of do it that way. But sometimes it's fun just to have the old school look, look in the book. Um, so the other thing that'll come in your starter kit is a diffuser. And I'll go over that after we go over the box of oils and other things. So you open it up and one thing that I'm gonna remind you of is there are two layers to your starter kit. So sometimes when people first get their kit, they only see the oils. So when you first open this, it's got this nice little magnetic kind of, um, I don't know what you call it, but it snaps together with a magnet. So it opens up really cute. And this is all the oils. The other thing that's in here is some literature. So there's a really cute little lifestyle booklet that you'll definitely want to look through. And it goes over just different tips about using your oils. It goes over um, what some of the things are, a little bit of safety, and then it talks about some of the other products as well. It's just like a teeny tiny mini version of the product guide, I guess, but it's really cute. So you get one of these. And then the other thing that comes in there is a little fold out piece of paper that talks about everything that comes in your starter kit with a little bit of information about each thing. So it goes over all of the oils that come in your kit and then it goes over um, the other things that come in the bottom of your kit, the samples of Ninja, the Thieves. So that comes in there. And let's go over the oils. So the new fun thing about the oils is that they have this kind of bendy little cute holder that they're in and these flaps on the back help it to stand up. So if you wanted to use that to keep your oils out, which I highly recommend you do, 
Um, if you keep your oils inside of a closed box, you will not use them very often. So get them out. I actually take them all out and I put them all around my house. There's oils in my kitchen, the ones that I put in my water, my food. There are oils in our bathrooms. There are oils in the bedrooms, living rooms, like everywhere, office. There are little bunches of oils or little racks or shelves that have the oils we use in those rooms. So I recommend that you do that because if they're tucked away in a box and like shoved, you know, under your bed or something, you're not gonna remember to get out your lavender and put it on your feet before you go to bed, right? So get all your oils out, but this is kind of a cute way to display them as well. Um, if you wanna share them with friends or family and you have people over, some of us do little like classes or get togethers where we show people how to use them, anybody can do that. So if you wanna do that, it's kind of fun to leave it up like this. Um, so I'm gonna go through what's different about the kit. And what you'll see right here are 10 oils. And there are two extra oils in this secret compartment. So there's a secret compartment we're gonna go over next and that's where there are two extra oils. But right away when you open this up, there will be 10. Now the previous starter kit came with 11 oils and now it comes with 12. So that's an upgrade right there, which is really exciting. And I think one of the most, the most exciting thing is that um, my favorite oil is now in the starter kit and it's called Valor. So I'll talk about Valor first. Um, so Valor is a beautiful blend. So some of the oils are blends and some of the oils are singles, right? So a single oil is just one, one plant or one part of a plant, a single one thing. A blend is several different plants. The essential oil are several different plants mixed together. So they'll have different names and you can tell by, you know, if it's just peppermint or lemon, that would be a single oil. A blend will have, you know, some kind of fancy name or a different name. So valor means strength and courage. And I love this oil because of the aroma and the way it makes me feel. So you'll just have certain oils that you naturally gravitate toward and that you love. Um, but you, you know, the ones that you love, use those up and have extras of them around because if you love it or you hate it, they say, your body needs it. So if you have kind of a repulsion or you really don't like an oil when you smell it, um, that is an emotional response. And that emotional response is triggering something. You don't, you might not know what it is right now, but that can be a signal that you, you need that. And it doesn't mean you need to slather something you don't like all over you, but it might be something to pay attention to. Maybe mixed with another oil, you're okay with the aroma or rolled on the soles of your feet or something like that. So I kind of jumped into talking about the oils and I didn't really talk about a couple things. So I'm gonna backtrack a little bit because if you're brand new to oils, you will definitely wanna know what is an essential oil, right? So an essential oil is an aromatic, volatile liquid that's ste usually steam distilled from shrubs, trees, bark, flowers, all different types, uh, parts of plants and trees. Um, and sometimes they're cold pressed. So the citrus oils are cold pressed and then some are um, extracted with something called resin tapping. So that's what an essential oil is and that's how we get the oils out of the plants, either distilled, cold pressed, or resin tapping. And there are lots of different essential oils out there, right? So you could go to like Target or Walmart or Ross or Marshalls or wherever and you're gonna find essential oils because they're all the rage right now. Essential oils are everywhere. And even your health food store, which might have oils that look, you know, more high quality than the ones at Target or something like that. However, the difference between those oils and the oils that you get Young Living from Young Living is huge. And the main difference is something called Seed to Seal. There's a whole separate website about it. If you'd like to go read more about it, um, what I really recommend you do is go visit the farms. Um, the farms are amazing. They're all over the world. So Young Living has, they own their own farms and then they have Seed to Seal certified partner farms that follow all of their standards. And they're really stringent standards where they have specific 50 different scientists that specialize in testing. They have people that know, that go out in the field and they're checking the plants every hour around the time of year that they know they're gonna be ready to be harvested to see when the essential oils are highest in the leaves or whatever part that they're taking to you know, harvest and distill. Then they take it when it's ready, they take it to the distillery on site 
they distill it at the right temperature, the right pressure, and the right length of time, and then it goes through all this testing. So from the seed that's planted in the ground, and they have crazy amazing sustainable um, growing and harvesting practices, all the way to the bottle that you get in your hand when you get your kit, it's been through like the most beautiful process of taking super good care of the plant and then the oil. So there, no one else has a seed to seal. No other company has a seed to seal. Nobody else has their own farms. Um, you know, you can do your research and I invite you to do your research because I was using um, just the brand from my health food store of essential oils and I didn't know any better and I was using those for years. I went through aromatherapy trainings and I'm a holistic health practitioner so I was using them in my practice not nearly like I'm using them now because I didn't know all the different ways they could be used but um, anyway do your research because seed to seal is is amazing and it's what makes Young Living sets us apart and makes us the the world leader in essential oils right now and Gary Young the founder of Young Living he was the pioneer he was the one that brought the whole essential oil movement to everybody so it's pretty cool and I, I feel really proud to be part of Young Living and I know that I'm using oils that are of the highest standard and the highest quality that I'm putting on my skin and on my kids and on my pet diffusing in my home and all of that so let me know if you have any questions about that but that's seed to seal a little bit about essential oils and then I wanted to talk about the three ways that you can use oils so the three ways that you can use Young Living oils are the number one way or the first way um, is aromatic. So you could open the bottle and you could just smell the oil straight out of the bottle. That's one way to use the oils aromatically. You get a drop in your hand and take deep breaths out of your hand. So Valor oil is blue because it has blue tansy in it. So I'll see if you can see that when it comes out. I don't know if you can tell, but it's blue. <laughs> I'm not used to the camera being backwards or being the right way. So the way you, when you get a drop in your hand, take your peace fingers, this is how I was taught to use oil, so it's how I teach others, and you swirl the oil three times clockwise in your palm. And then you rub your hands together, so that activates the oil to your energy, and there's actually science behind that. If you remember, and if you don't, you're fine. Rub your hands together and then close your eyes and take some deep breaths of whatever oil, you know, you can do this with me or when you get your oils. So that's one way to use the oils aromatically. You can do that with any oil, every oil. You can always get a drop of it in your hand, swirl it around, take some deep breaths of it. Then we'll talk about topical next, but you could place that oil somewhere on your body if you like the aroma of it and you wanted to put it somewhere to support something. I often put Valor on my shoulders or under my shirt on my solar plexus at the base of my ribs because that's our personal power center. Actually, look at this. I'm wearing a vial necklace filled with Valor. <laughs> I keep my Valor oil on me in a little roller <laughs> at all times. So in case I need any Valor, I have it with me. That's how much I like Valor. Um, so anyway, back to aromatic. You could smell it smell it from the bottle you can diffuse it so all of your all of your starter kits if they if you got the oil one is gonna come with a diffuser right you get to pick so one of them is called the desert mist it'll come in a box like this whatever you know diffuser you pick and then inside a lot of the diffusers work in a similar way but they're such a great way to use the oils aromatically so this is the desert mist and it has on off buttons and the light on the back. There's two different buttons, one for the light, one to turn on and off, and it turns all different colors. It's so gorgeous. And the way it works is you just pull this top part off and then there is a little underneath part that you also pull off and then you just fill it with water. There's a little fill line and you fill it up with water. You could use tap water, you could use um, filtered water, um, and then you put your oils in. You add, if you're just starting out, you might want to only add maybe two or three or four drops. Once you've been using oils for a while, we always say start low and slow so your body can get used to them. Essential oils are very cleansing and detoxifying. So maybe three, four drops, and then put the, put the top back on, and then you just turn it on. And then you can change the lights, and it runs, this one runs for about eight to 10 hours on the intermittent setting. So if you turn the on off button, we have separate videos in the Sorry, I got a call of how to use this diffuser if you want to search it. 
So one way to use this group is you can use the search function and you can type in an oil or a diffuser or something that you want to learn more about and then the posts will pop up that have those, you know, that keyword in there. So yeah, you just turn it on and then you're using the oils aromatically. And when we breathe the essential oils, it's so fascinating the way they work because when you use them aromatically, they travel up through your nose and they're little teeny, these highly volatile little molecules that just means it ev evaporates quickly. They're teeny tiny molecules. They go up into your nose and they actually go up into your brain. They cross the blood brain barrier and they affect an area of our brain called the limbic brain, which is also called the seat of our emotions. And it's closely related to a place in the brain where we regulate our blood pressure, our heart rate, where we balance our hormones, and all kinds of other things. So there's actually a physiological response when you smell the oils and use them aromatically. That's why we diffuse all day, every day in our house. I have about six diffusers all going. Sometimes even if we're not home, I'll turn them on and I will leave them and just leave them on because then the air is going to be purified when we come back home. You know what I mean? We definitely have them on all night in our bedrooms. Both the kids have them in their room and we have them in our room. So using the oils aromatically is really powerful and really easy and a wonderful way to get essential oils into everybody's bodies easily and gently. So the second way is topically. And when you use the oils topically, sometimes, like you saw me just do with Valor, I had it on my hands and then I just rubbed it on my shoulders. I know that my skin is okay with Valor oil without a carrier oil. So a carrier oil is a fatty oil that has bigger molecules and it will help the essential oil evaporate or not evaporate. Sometimes if you put a highly volatile essential oil on, some of it evaporates off. So if you use a carrier, it kind of holds that in and it helps it slow down the absorption into your skin. Some people's skin is very sensitive and the oils are very strong. So they're between 110,000 times stronger than the plant form. So like one drop of peppermint is like 26 cups of peppermint tea. Like it's amazing how strong they are. So you don't need a lot. Um, so when you're using them topically, you get to play around with what type of carrier oil you like. Some people will just use the organic olive oil from their kitchen. Other people will use grapeseed oil. I like grapeseed oil. It doesn't have a smell. It's not very greasy. And I keep it in a little dropper bottle, a little one ounce glass dropper bottle so that it's ready for me to use, you know, whenever I need it, if I want to use it topically or make a little roller ball blend or something like that. Um, that's advanced oiling, but there are videos on that too. So anyway, get a carrier oil that you like. Young Living has V6 which is six different vegetable oils. And definitely use more carrier oil with babies and kids and on your own skin, especially sensitive skin like bellies or necks or something like that. You might not be able to tolerate an oil. It might feel too strong um, without a carrier and it doesn't make it any less effective. It just slows down the absorption. So use plenty of carrier and you'll get to know your own skin with different oils, how it reacts. And one thing that's worth mentioning as far as skin reacting with oils is if you have, if you get any itching or redness or something like that, it could be you need more carrier or it could be that the essential oils are reacting with chemicals, toxic chemicals that you've absorbed into the fatty layer of your skin from toxins in the environment or maybe other personal care products. Sometimes we use, um, shampoos or lotions or body washes or um, soaps that have chemicals in them and our body you know absorbs that and holds on to it in the fatty layer of our, our tissue and then the essential oil comes in and it starts reacting with that because essential oil wants to get that out of there and so we would maybe have a reaction so as you start to use essential oils and adopt the Young Living lifestyle, which is way more than just oils, as you'll see if you haven't already, um, a whole line of supplements and food products and skincare and makeup, and you're kind of swapping out toxic chemical things that you were using before and kind of cleaning everything up, your body will adjust and you will have less skin itching maybe and feel better and you know, the oils kind of go to work and they start to cleanse and detoxify, bring you back into balance and just make you feel really good. So it's a process and everybody's um, journey into 
higher health or upgrading their health is different. So we're here to support you, whatever that looks like. And if you have any questions along the way, just keep in close contact with the person who added you to this group because they're gonna be like your mentor, your guide, and then I'm here too, and we're, we're all here for you. Um, and the way this group works is if, um, you know, you can scroll through and find different information on different products. Um, the one thing that we don't do is we're not gonna diagnose or you know, say that something's gonna cure you or treat this with this oil. We don't do that. We're not doctors, we don't do that. That's not what we're about. So if you have specific questions like that, you need to get yourself a reference guide. So every single person should go to lifediscoverlsp.com and make sure that you have a life science publishing reference guide. There is a desk reference, which is a big book, or the pocket reference, which is a smaller book. And you can look up all kinds of symptoms and ailments and get that kind of information um, just because we're not we're not supposed to talk about that kind of stuff um, openly so that's why in this group if you were to say hey you know what do I do for and you listed a specific disease it might get deleted because we have admins in the group who see that and take the post out because we're not supposed to give advice about that so no hard feelings if you've done that or if that's happened to you it's just it's a rule all across Young Living and in any kind of health and wellness company that you don't make claims that our products are going to cure you. After you've used the products for a while, you might have some amazing stories and you know that they work really well and that's awesome. Um, so get yourself a reference guide. They also have an app if you're more of an app person than a book person. Okay, so top back to topical. A great place to put oils is on the soles of the feet because the skin is less sensitive. We have the biggest pores in our body there and you have a map of the body on the soles of your feet. So we have Vitaflex charts where you can see all the Vitaflex points, like the big toe is the brain, the inside of the foot is the spinal cord. So like the neck, the middle back, the upper back is down by the heel. It's really cool. All the digestive organs are in the middle. So you could target a specific spot on the foot and put oils um, or just put oils all over the bottom of the feet and know that you're targeting all the systems of your body when you do that and the skin is less sensitive. So I love, we put oils on our feet all the time in our family and oftentimes we don't need to use carrier or as much carrier because of the tougher skin there. And then you'll start to get a feel for where you wanna put the oils. A lot of times it's intuition. Sometimes you just know where you wanna put that oil. Um, and the third way to use oils is ingesting, right? So I will take my water bottle and I will add lemon, citrus fresh, any of the oils that are vitality, which means they can be ingested. You can add to your water, you can add to your food. And that was something that was new to me when I started Young Living, because I was like, oh, I didn't know that you could ingest essential oils. Most of them say right on the bottle, you know, other brands are like, do not ingest, you know, they're not safe, whatever. These are pure, so Young Living oils are different. Um, and real quick about the diffusers, you'll see diffusers like at Target or on Amazon or something like that, but what um, is worth mentioning that the Young Living diffusers are made for Young Living oils. So the petrochemicals in plastic, in cheaper soft plastics, will be leached out with the strength of our oils. So. I do not recommend putting essential oils in a humidifier or some random diffuser that you got from somewhere because I have heard of people saying that it ate away the plastic. So our diffusers are made with a hard plastic that will not leach petrochemicals out of the air. So um, I just wanted to mention that really quick, but the same thing when you're ingesting oils, if you put lemon oil, especially the citrus oils, into a plastic water bottle or styrofoam or something like that, they go to work on the chemicals in that plastic and it will start leaching out into what you're drinking. So only use essential oils in glass or stainless steel or ceramic, um, just so that you're staying safe from that. But they're wonderful to ingest. You can make little capsules. So you can buy little veggie caps empty, open them up, add a couple drops of whatever essential oil you'd like to ingest, and then add a couple drops of carrier, just for the same reason that we use carrier oil topically on our skin. We put it in the capsule with the essential oils so that when we swallow it and it dissolves in our stomach, it's slowly absorbed. Sometimes taking a capsule with, even if it's only a couple drops of essential oil, it could be strong and you might kind of feel that capsule burst open and you might even like burp it up or something. So the carrier oil just helps your body to digest it and absorb it a little 
easier. Again, start starting low and slow. If you just got your starter kit, you might, um, you know, just, just do a little bit, one drop of lemon in your water, um, a couple drops in the diffuser, putting something on your feet before bed, just a little bit at a time. And then after a while, you might notice yourself starting to use oils more times a day or more drops or being able to tolerate using more. So just listen to your body and use your intuition. So I think I covered that three, three ways to use the oils. And then um, let's, let's go through the oils that come in the kit real quick. So Valor, we talked about Valor. I love it. Helps me feel grounded, balanced, peaceful. Um, the next one is lavender and lavender has a nickname of the Swiss army knife of essential oils because it is for everything. So again, I'm not going to tell you all the things that it's for. You can do your research. You can Google, you can use, um, Google scholar is wonderful. PubMed is a wonderful place to do research on any of these oils. Um, you'll find some awesome information that, you know, we call non-compliant, the things that we can't necessarily make claims or talk about, but you can find great studies and learn more. But lavender supports super healthy skin. So lavender belongs in everybody's uh, beauty routine. It's so great for any type of skin. You can add a drop to your moisturizer. You could get a scoop of Epsom salts or mineral salts and put a couple drops of lavender and run it under warm water and soak in a bath. Um, wonderful on the soles of the feet, awesome in the diffuser at bedtime. It is calming. There's actually studies that show that it slows the beta waves in your brain. And this is pure lavender. So there are, I know I've heard like some people say, oh, lavender, it gives me headaches. I've heard that a lot. Most of the time it's synthetic lavender that people are sensitive to or synthetic fragrances. And when you smell the real thing, it's different. So. Um, Occasionally, when you start using essential oils, if you use too much, like if you're using 25 drops instead of two, people have said, oh my gosh, I got a headache, or I felt like, oh my gosh, and it's probably because those essential oils, those teeny tiny molecules, were going through the cell walls because they're fat soluble, pushing all the toxins out, and it was just too much for the body to handle, right? But synthetic lavender and other synthetic oils, um, you know, might smell little. So this lavender is incredible and we love it for all things calming, relaxing, bedtime, skin, and there are so many other things it can be used for. So, that, happy that that's still in the starter kit. I think it's like one of Young Living's top oils. I mean, it obviously is, because that's what the starter kit is. It's the 12 most popular oils, but I think lavender is like number one. Um, Digize. So see how this bottle has a white label? That means it's a vitality oil, so it's ingestible. You can drink it, you can eat it, put it directly under your tongue. That's what I do now. It doesn't have, I didn't think when I first smelled it that it had the nicest aroma, <laughs> but I've gotten used to it because I love the way it makes me feel. So I will actually like open the bottle and just put a drop like right under my tongue. Um, anytime I want digestive support. So Digize is a blend and it has all different essential oils in it that are wonderful for supporting healthy digestion. So you even though it comes in this white bottle, if you reorder it in a bigger 15 milliliter bottle, so there's two sizes, five and 15 milliliter. Five milliliter bottles typically have between 80 and 100 drops, and then the 15 milliliter around 250 to 300, just depending on the viscosity of the oil, right? Some of them are thicker and thinner. Um, but with the bigger bottle, if you order Digize, it's gonna come in a red label bottle. It's the exact same oil. They just have to label them differently because you can't say that something you ingest is also something that you rub on your skin and put in a diffuser. So it's the same oil, but Digize can also be used rubbed over your belly, rubbed on the soles of your feet. Um, those are the, the places we usually use it. I don't, I don't diffuse Digize because I feel like I usually want it in me or on me if I need some digestion support. So that's that one and then next is peppermint and peppermint is another oil that is awesome for digestion it's cooling um, it's wonderful rubbed along the spine just to cool the body down anytime you need cooling down it is strong so if you put a drop in your water or you put a drop under your tongue or even if you bake with it just keep in mind that it's really strong and again it comes as you know a topical oil label whatever the green labeled bottle that's bigger so you can use it topically 
Um, and when you do that, notice if your skin needs carrier or not. It'll tell you on the bottle if it's recommended that you use carrier oil with peppermint. I know some people that don't. Um, I need to use carrier with peppermint because my skin is sensitive. So if I'm rubbing that on my belly, I need some carrier oil with it for sure. Um, yeah, there's lots of things about peppermint that are wonderful, but I think digestion and cooling are like the two main things that I can think of. How are you guys doing? You guys still here? Hi, <laughs> staying with me? I know I'm like going a million miles a minute. I feel like there's so many, so many things here to talk about. Thanks for hanging out today, everybody. Okay, so frankincense is the next oil. And frankincense, I love adding a drop to my moisturizer. It's another skincare oil. It goes along really great with lavender because it's so supportive for healthy skin. And I am a sun lover. I've been in the sun ever since I was a little kid, surfing and just an outdoors beach person. So I need a lot of skin support. <laughs> my skin needs lots of support. So frankincense is wonderful for fine lines and wrinkles and just natural aging, supporting healthy aging skin. So any type of skin stuff, but also frankincense oil was given to the baby Jesus, right? So it was one of the special gifts, whatever your religious background is. Um, but there are plenty of references to frankincense and essential oils in general in the Bible. So we're just coming back around to what was used a long time ago. And frankincense was the gift to baby Jesus because it was valued more than gold. That's how much frankincense was valued. So uh, I love frankincense. It's an oil that I use almost daily. I love it in the diffuser. Um, I love it in my moisturizer. I love it for meditation. So I will put a drop in my hands, take some deep breaths of it, and maybe rub some, you know, on some of the chakras to kind of help me feel calm and grounded, but also have, um, it gives you kind of a spiritual awareness, kind of a spiritual awareness type oil. So that's how I use frankincense. And there's so many uses for these oils, I couldn't possibly cover them all right here. That's why you gotta get your reference guide and look them up. Uh, Raven, so Raven is a blend. It comes with a different cap. And that's because it has wintergreen oil in it. And it's like a child safety cap because wintergreen, if you ingested or spilled like an entire bottle on you, could be toxic. No one's ingesting a whole bottle. No one's using a whole bottle or drinking a whole bottle, but that's why it has that cap on there. Um, because Raven has wintergreen in it. So Raven is great for all types of respiratory support. It's awesome in the diffuser or on the soles of the feet. Um, there is a precaution with wintergreen oil also that you will read about in your book um, that it's not recommended to use with little kids or babies. Um, some books say 14 years or older. I do know moms that have chosen to use it diluted uh, with younger kids and to put it in the diffuser with no problem. So that's where you need to be the empowered oiler and do your research and decide whether it's something you want to use with your kids or not. So a great book for kids and babies is called Gentle Babies by Deborah Rayburn. And I recommend anybody and everybody who is pregnant, nursing, has a baby, get that book if you're using essential oils, it's awesome. Lots of good info, but Raven is for respiratory support. So lungs, sinuses, soles of the feet, diffuser. A really, really awesome one to have around for winter and fall months just to keep the immune system up. Big immune system oil. So Lemon Vitality is one of the ones that I add straight to my water. So I will have my glass water bottle and I will just add, I kind of go a little big now and I maybe add like three or four drops, but if you're just starting out, just one drop. And it's strong, it's definitely strong, but I think you'll like it. And lemon is cleansing and detoxifying and brings the body into a more alkaline balance. And it's cold pressed from the rind, so it's not acidic. It's not from the fruit, it's from the rind. So it's really high in bioflavonoids and really healthy and great addition to like even salad dressings and all different kinds of things in the kitchen. So if you cook with essential oils, it will kill off some of the benefits. It'll still keep the flavor. So oftentimes I will add it to my food after it's done cooking, but you can experiment with that. And there are separate books, separate classes. 
um, separate Facebook groups even, if you wanna learn more about using oils in the kitchen, but it's really fun, even adding to smoothies and sauces and all different kinds of things. Lemon oil, even though it's a vitality, so it's for internal use, but it's also great for wiping crayon off the walls, getting marker pen off of your table, getting sticky glue off of glass jars, cleaning jewelry, getting grease off of your hands. Like this is gonna become your super um, all purpose, like cleaning even, like I'll put a couple drops in my sink with some of the, here's a little hack, with some of the dishwasher soap, the Thieves dishwasher powdered soap. I'll use that as like a scrub with some of this and some Thieves cleaner and like your sink will just be bright, shiny, clean. So lemon oil, so many uses and it's so yummy. It's refreshing, it's uplifting. Any of the citrus oils are happy oils. They actually have studies, again, which you can go read about, but they are mood supporting, happy, uplifting for the brain citrus oils, especially for winter. If you live somewhere where it's like cloudy or rainy all the time. Uh, Thieves is the next one, and Thieves is such a famous blend that there is an entire line of Thieves products. So the story behind Thieves, uh, in the 15th century when the plague was killing so many people, there was a group of robbers that were going around and robbing the people that had died, and they, when they finally got caught, they were like, we'll give you a lesser sentence if you tell us why you're not afraid to touch the dead people and they were spice traders and they were slathering themselves in a combination of rosemary lemon cinnamon bark eucalyptus is gary young added and clove so they were putting that all over them to stay healthy while they were robbing the sick and dying and dead whatever dead so you can remember that thieves is a blend for supporting a healthy immune system so I keep thieves in my purse and I drop it under my tongue daily. Um, we diffuse it, we rub it on the soles of the feet, um, especially if you've been around sick people. Lauren says, I love Raven for respiratory and to cook with lemon. Yep, me too. So if you've been around anyone who's been sick or you just need, you want to keep your immune system up, use thieves and get all the thieves products. I mean, there are thieves, thieves foaming hand soap, thieves dish soap, laundry soap, household cleaner which you get a sample of in here and yeah thieves is delicious and awesome okay next up in this kit ooh, this is hard to get out pan away pan away also comes with that little child safety cap because it has remember wintergreen oil in it so wintergreen that's why it has that child safety cap but we know wintergreen is like used as flavoring right it's a what's called a grass oil generally regarded as safe and there's a list of all the oils that have that, that are safe for consuming in the reference guide that I keep talking about. So get that and you can see. So pan away. It's not pain away because we're not supposed to say that this would take away your pain. So it's pan away, but it's for healthy joints, healthy muscles. You can use it before exercise, after exercise. Even if you're not an exerciser and you need some muscle and joint support, you're gonna want this in your arsenal of oils. And when these bottles run out, you can order them all as single oils and I mean separately and some of them come in bigger bottles, but the starter kit is just such a good deal because they put all the 12 most popular oils together um, in a little pack. So super discounted, super discounted. I mean, I think the full price of a starter kit like retail, if you separated everything out with the diffuser and all the stuff that comes, I think it's almost $400. And so the starter kit is 165. So it's pretty amazing. That's why we love the starter kit. Whenever I start running low on oils, I just order an, a new starter kit because, and if, or if I need a new diffuser, I just order a whole new kit because that's the best, that's the best way to go. Uh, citrus Fresh is the next one and it's a vitality oil. So it's a blend of different citrus oils like grapefruit and lemon and it also has spearmint. So it's a really good uplifting smell with all those citrus benefits, cold pressed, you know, citrus oils great in your water, great in smoothies, um, great for anyone working with weight management to be using citrus oils. It has grapefruit in it, which actually has been shown to be fat dissolving. So some people choose to like rub it on their body. What you want to use caution with, so this is one caution with citrus oils. If you put them on topically and you go out in direct sunlight, 
within 24 or 48 hours of putting a citrus oil on, you could get burned because it increases photosensitivity. So that's just one thing to remember with citrus oils. People will read that lemon is good for wrinkles and they'll put lemon on their face, which is fine, but if you're gonna go sunbathe, not a good idea, just to keep in mind. So citrus fresh, yummy and awesome in water and good in salad dressing and stuff like that too. You can get creative with it in the kitchen. Okay, so that was all the oils that came in the top part of the kit. So when you first open it and you see like whatever came in that top part, now I'm gonna show you the secret compartment. So that was the top part. So when you open it up, we got out the oils. Now there is, do you see that little tab right there? So when you open that, there is a whole nother section inside. Try not to spill it. So I'm gonna show you what all that stuff is. More goodies. I know some people have like opened their starter kit and literally thrown the box away with all this stuff in there because they didn't know. So that's part of the reason why I'm doing this video. Like don't throw away the secret compartment um, because there are two more oils in there. Now there's two more oils down there. It used to be just one. So one of them is stress away. And the cool thing that comes with the stress away is a roller ball. So the roller ball is a little metal ball that you can put on the top of your essential oil instead of having the orifice reducer little plastic cap. So you can pop that off and put your roller on. So I'll show you how to do that. If you just pinch this when it's over the top and then pull it, you can pull that right off and then you can put your roller ball right on top. And the only way to get the roller ball to stay on there is to screw it on with a cap. So you're gonna screw it on until you hear it like click. You might need to do it kind of tight and then check it to make sure that it's on there good. And then you've got this and you can roll it on your neck or wherever you wanna roll stress away. I like to roll it on my wrists, um, but stress away. My son calls it heaven in a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> so good and then the other so another new thing about the starter kit one was that it has valor which came in the top part of the kit and the other is that it now comes with peace and calming just so exciting because those are two super popular oils that were out of stock for a long time because they didn't have blue tansy oil they have blue tansy oil and now they're back and they have so much supply that they can offer them in the starter kit and then you get another this is a new thing about the starter kit. You get two of these roller balls. So you can put them on whatever oils you want. You can choose an oil, any of those oils that you love that you want to put on topically and stick your roller ball on there. But I love Peace and Calming. It's a blend for calming, for relaxation, for bedtime. My husband keeps a secret stash. Some of you have heard this story. He keeps a secret stash in our living room. So if he comes home and the kids and I are like crazy, like, energy he'll go get his peace and calming like huff it before he walks in to greet all of us um, I use it when I fly to stay calm and relaxed it's definitely like the first day of school kind of calming oil or just it's lovely so you got to get peace and calming oil it has citrus oils in it and blue tansy and some others if you ever want to know what's in an oil it's on here sometimes you have to peel back the label and you might need to get out some glasses if your eyes aren't so good but Peace and Calming is actually green because it has blue tansy in it and then it has like orange and yellow citrus oils. So if you pour it out and you see that it's green, don't think that that is bad or something like that. It's perfectly normal. It has tangerine, orange, ylang ylang, patchouli, and blue tansy. I like rubbing Peace and Calming on my belly or on my kids' bellies too. It's a really calming, nice place to put that oil. Okay, so next in the starter kit is two packets of Ningxia Red. You guys know about Ningxia Red? I know some of you are avid Ningxia drinkers. Give us like a thumbs up or a heart if you drink this already. But your kit comes with two packets of this and what you can do is stick them in your refrigerator or if it's hot or summertime where you live, put them in your freezer um, because they are super good when they're cold and you just tear off the top and drink it and what it is it's it's a really high antioxidant drink made from wolfberry puree and wolfberries are ningxia berries a special type of goji berry that comes from the ningxia region of china and they the water supply that goes to that area i just learned is filled with these rich minerals and that's what makes the ningxia wolfberry so nutritious and so different from getting goji berries from your grocery store so Gary Young traveled around the world, studied longevity, and went to all the places where the people were living longest and asked them what their secrets were. Ningja, 
So Ningxia berries were one of the major secrets of the people that were living way past 100 years, super healthy. Helps with energy, supports healthy eyesight, um, immune support. There's essential oils infused in it, in the wolfberry puree. And this is something that I, I drink every single day, at least two ounces. You can buy it by the bottle as well. So that's Ningxia red. If you, if you freeze it, you can stick it in a kid's lunch and let it kind of melt and then it'll be kind of slushy. Or you can cut the top off and eat it like an otter pop, you know? So if it's all frozen, you can eat it that way. And then the other new thing about the starter kit is that now it comes with Thieves hand purifier. I use this every day. I keep these little bottles in my car and in my purse, um, especially when like traveling or pumping gas or I don't know, touching things in public bathrooms. Uh, even now, I won't use the fluorescent soaps in public bathrooms because I don't want that stuff on my skin because there are all these studies showing that the toxic chemicals that are in antibacterial soaps and things like that are really bad for our immune system and they are cancer causing and hormone disrupting and a host of other things. So I will often wash my hands just with water in a public bathroom and then I will get out my hand purifier and I will use that on my hands. And it's not drying because it has aloe and it's got thieves. Go Google the benefits of thieves so that you can learn how powerful thieves is and why you want it on your body and in your body all the time. But I love this. I think it's a great addition to the starter kit. So I'm really happy about that. And then you can buy big bottles of it too. I buy big bottles and then I refill all my little ones. My kids keep these like in their backpacks. They're great for just having in your pocket or on you all the time whenever you need to purify your hands if you don't have good soap and water. And then the last thing that comes in here in the secret compartment is Thieves Household Cleaner. So you get a awesome packet of this plant-based household cleaner totally non-toxic your kids could like lick the floor after you've mopped it my kids clean my dog walks on it you don't have to worry about any toxic chemicals and one thing you might want to do as you're kind of starting this journey of being healthier and using oils is to open up your cupboards and look at what's under your sinks and most of the time we have things that have you know not so great ingredients in them and maybe it's something we hadn't really thought about but uh, a lot of the ingredients in cleaners have toxic chemicals that, like I was saying before, with the hand soap, they disrupt our hormones. They lower our immune system. And there are these chemicals that get lodged in our, in our tissues, in our body, and are causing all sorts of problems. Um, it's called chemical overload. So whatever you can do to start swapping out those chemicals from your home. I was even using like reputable brands from health food store that had fragrance in them. And I want pure essential oils in everything that I'm putting in on and around my body in my environment. So having Thieves oil in a cleaner is the best thing ever. And we use Thieves cleaner for our floors, our bathrooms, our house cleaner uses it and won't use anything else for a scrub. If you need like a little bit of a scrub, I mentioned the Thieves dishwasher soap, or you could use a little baking soda and mix with it. But it's so highly concentrated that you only need a cap full uh, and it comes in a bottle so i'm saying capsule because it also comes in a bottle in an entire bottle like spray bottle just a little teeny capsule and on the back there's different ratios if you're a measurer and you need like specific ratios for glass or different things there is that i don't use that i just like pour it in and mix it with water and <laughs> it's always fine toilet sinks floor inside of my car wherever so I'm really happy about that. This was kind of newer. It's, it was in the last starter kit, but it's newer to the kit and I'm so happy about it. So I think I have covered all the things that came in the starter kit. And if you have questions, let me know. Let the person know who added you here. Hopefully you have some good information um, either in your reference guide from discoverlsp.com um, or maybe the person who added you here gave you some other materials. There are different books and different things out there if you want more support on how to use these oils. And then come to, if you're like local and you live where I live near Encinitas, California, come to our classes. We always have classes about, you know, everything under the sun. We have all different classes every month and we teach about the oils, we teach about the supplements, the skincare, uh, hormone balancing, all different things. So if you have an area of your health that you're looking to improve, we probably have a class or a resource for you. So let us know. 
thanks for joining and have an awesome day. And I hope you guys are enjoying your, your new starter kit. All right, bye. Ooh, I don't know how to turn it off.